Hello everyone, I'm your host Boss Zombie. Welcome back to Cyber Sleuth. Second area? Oh, this is just more air. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. It's Ooh, item. No item on the left side. <gasps> Memory up! Now I can have two more 20s on my team. Or get rid of two of the 18s. Oh, nice, nice. Wait. Actually, I could have four 20s, yeah. Blaze it. But I don't need to, because at Kuzu Hamon, I want to keep on my team any- Oh, I stopped moving. That was- that was the ghost of the Pale Boy that we saw earlier. So if the previous pattern holds, that Bakemon must be nearby. Wait. Is there a typo when you meant to write Eater? Hey, hey, what are you guys doing? Uh, we thought if we followed you, we'd find the exit. I told you already, I don't need a whole crew of Tagalongs just following after me. Whoa, what's that? Okay, so they did mean Eater and for some reason typed Bakemon. Huh, just as I expected. Here it comes. What? Oh, dummy. Oh, dummies. Hang on, seriously? What is that thing doing? Oh, it changed. Well, that's not creepy at all. So it's tr transformed after devouring a person? So I'm to keep your guard up. That's a theory that it's... There's a theory that it's stronger after transforming. No shit! Any anyone who's seen anime knows that. Oh, it's very unsettling. Texture blow? Don't you dare pixelate me. Fuck. Do I have a dot recovery? I kind of like the Aboramon sprite. Ooh, I wonder if people have ripped all the, like, sprite sprites from this game. I'd love to see those. Okay, well, I'm gonna go full out. What do I have that's stronger? Probably be one of these. Uh... I'll use Nano Machine. Ooh, he's a toughie. I'm gonna use Status Barrier on Diaboramon. Haha. Observing. Use Catastrophe Cannon. Oh, he even makes the Diaboramon sounds. Cool. Um, I mean, they all do the same. I'll just use Nano Machine again. How long does that barrier thing last? I'm gonna use Status Barrier on me now. Kuzu Hamon. Data is converging. That's fine. Oh, so you're an int user, huh? Oh, right! His, that attack does recoil. Whoops. Would have been better just to use a strong attack. Let's use one more on Mega Gargomon. How long does status barriers last? I'm very curious. And he's charging for int. Uh. Yeah, it's not worth it. I'll just kill him before he can. Could use mirror reflection. Melt processor. Ouch. Oh, and it heals you, eh? Alright, let's use good old destruction cannon. God, Diabormon hits hard. Oh, you're gonna steal SP from me, damn you. Oh, right, this thing. It, her, spe her unique one. Who's in tight? Negates all bonuses the enemy gets. Or it's supposed to. Weird. Dead. 
お疲れさん Creepy motherfucker. How big can they get? It really was as strong as theorized after all, huh? Oh, okay, we're done here. But there was more area. Oh, item. Hmm, so taking out that eater makes everything go back to normal, same as always. That's a relief. But still, we took down that Bakemon. It's a ghost. Bakemon's a the ghost thing, not. But something is still controlling that strange phenomenon, and we still don't know what. Same goes with that syndrome, we didn't get any new info. Oh, that. then that means. You, what are you doing here? I came and I detected the digital shift. Were the two of you caught up in it, I, perchance? I see, well then why didn't you say anything? That's not the sort of thing to keep mum about. And? There was something new this time around? Well, yeah. Well, uh, yes, well, it was powerful. So much so that the Bakemon could transform after eating someone. Oh, that is very interesting indeed. You're probably controlling this shit, you creepy motherfucker. That information fits into a new theory I'm postulating. A new theory? It seems that an eater changes its form bit by bit to reflect what it incorporates into itself. By incorporating human data, this human was able to obtain a form that was close to human. Could it be that eaters have come to find more simple digital data unsatisfying? It could be to attempting to incorporate data from humans which are organic life forms. Human data? What the heck for? I don't know yet. Not for right now at least. Thank you very much for the valuable information. Ah yes, things have been left unsaid. I know you're a big fan of mine. I find you rather agreeable myself. What? What a creepy thing to say. No, I... Your outlaw spirit wanting to stay unencumbered. unencumbered. Your rebellious... rebellious streak. Your desire to divide things greater than yourself. So many possibilities are open to you, Mr. Arata. Let us meet again very soon, I hope. I can't tell if he's a bad guy or not. Sheesh, I couldn't get a word in edgewise, and then he just up and disappears. There's really something fishy about him. Is he really just interested in research? Okay, I made up my mind. I'm going to look into things until I know for sure what Sudo and Kemisho are really all about. Huh? How am I going to look into them? By sneaking into Kamishiro Enterprises, of course. Ooh, that's a bad idea. It should be easy, right? As long as we use your connection to jump in my hacking expertise. Besides, we've got connections, don't we? I need to think of a plan. I'll be in touch. Oh, cool. Better report back to the office. You're awfully late, aren't you? No, no, it's fine. It's not like there's been any real movement here. What? There's been movement? I knew I had it right. One good turn deserves another. Give me the details on what happened. Hmm. You should let Nokia do as she wishes. She's not as thoughtless as she looks or seems. Her response clearly comes from a lot of careful thought. We have no right to stand in her way. I think Arata's got the right idea about sneaking into Kamishiro. Let's wait on him to form our strategy. Things have certainly gotten a bit more exciting, haven't they? You can't really help but get a rush from it. Sure, let's save. Why not? I have hundreds of hours already in this game. Grinding will do that, folks. That's why I have like 30. I already had a month. I have a month's worth of gameplay in Fallout 4 already. No, more than that. I should check what it was. You guys still owe me for before. How about the nice lady treat me to a meal? Do I have to do cases? Oh, what is this? What, is this? What, is this? what do you give me? What's an electric symbol? I'll do that later. Hmm. I 
to go get that metal I saw on the floor. Where was it? It was... Asakusa. There it is. Gimme. Why can't I gimme? Alright, Mon. And back we go. What am I... Wait. What is the goal right now? Hmm. Well, first of all... Kind of dumb that the healing system requires funds. I want to change up my team a little. Uh, do Bormon stays, Kuzu stays. My Gargo is getting switched out for... You. And... Vespa... You. Good. What am I doing? Seems there's some sketchy poster on the second floor of Brad. Oh wait, did she give you clues about what cases to do? That would have been nice to know a long time ago. Sketchy poster. Sketchy. Oh. I see that strong that sign caught your attention too. This super true ult super ultra true puppet. It's quite the intriguing name, that's for sure. Like the name says, it's an exquisitely crafted doll made to look just like a real human being that you can buy online. So I hear. Though calling it super and ultra true is a tad redundant. They could have gotten to the point gotten the point across without using both of those terms. It's actually not that expensive. I'm thinking of saving up my money and buying one myself. And it's made by Jurogumo Company. Isn't that a, a like a big ogre oni thingy? Nice snappy name for a company, although there's a bit of a sketchy vibe to it too. Anyway, I wonder who the model behind this doll is too, come to think of it. The case is coming from May. Oh, the research occult people. Okay, we're probably going there. No, we're not going there automatically. Gimme. Okay. Living doll. Oh, Detective Kiremi, you have to help us. You have to help us, please. May, calm down. I'm sure she'll help us. Tell me what's going on. What's wrong? Given that this business, this is business from the Occult Club, I take it we've got another supernatural case on our hands? Yeah, I mean, I mean, no. Probably. I don't think this has anything to do with the Occult this time. Oh, then why all the big fuss? Well, there are apparently these dolls being sold on the internet that look just like me and May. I think these dolls are called Super Hyper Ultra Lookalikes or something like that. You must be referring to the super ultra true puppets. I've heard rumors about them. All right, tell me more. These dolls, their faces, their bodies, everything from the top to bottom looks just like us. They're so accurate, it's creepy. And to make matters worse, they're being sold real cheap. You'd think they could go for at least a little more money on the market. Uh, that's not really the problem here. You get that, right? But it still sucks. It makes me feel like they see me as some kind of cheap piece of junk. I mean, I find it weird, too, that your doll costs several thousand yen more than mine, but... Wait. So you do care about the prices after... I said it's not important. These... Anyway, these dolls that look like... Uh, that look just like us are being bought by otaku all over the place. Ugh, that's a horrible thing. And when I think about what those guys are probably doing with... Or to them, it's really just... It just really creeps me out. You know, this reminds me of another incident. I wonder if this is connected to that. What kind of incident? There's a really dicey looking service out there that's called that's called the Perfect Girl Project. 
You can use it to get a living doll made in the image of your ideal girl and then live the life you've always dreamed of. Why? Don't do the creepy things! But the police have been hearing about how owners of the dolls go missing. I was just discussing it with Detective Matayoshi. Super true, well, super ultra true puppets and living dolls made in the images of people's dream girls. I guess they sound like they could be related, but are you sure there's really a connection? That's the tough part to prove. To make dolls that look so similar to how you two really are, it take having pretty specific data on your bodies. I imagine getting your hands on something like that isn't exactly easy. Actually, I have an idea how they might have managed to pull it off. There's an LDC machine in an arcade in Akihabara that I think might be suspicious. LDC, you mean lustful dream chicks? Do you? There's certainly not one for subtlety, if that's the case. No, no, not that. I mean living doll club. That's what LDC stands for. Right, it's a machine that scans all of your body and makes a 3D printed figure. You mean to tell me the thing that scanned your body may still have the data from scanning your body? Who would have guessed? Our data could have somehow get leaked out of that, I guess. Hmm, I definitely can't deny the possibility. Then our next step is clear. We need to head straight to Akihabara and gather info on this living doll club machine. That'll be your job, zombie. As for me, I'll see if I can dig up anything else regarding the Perfect Girl project. Akihabara. Oh, message. Nope, nothing. Wow, my nose is so itchy. Always the itchy nose. Akihabara, that one... There it is. Hmm. Uns unstable nerd, Jesus. Living dog club in the arcade down the way, wasn't there? Sure. Oh right, that sound, I forgot about it. Oh, I can't go in the truck now? What's this? You there! I can tell from your body language that you're frustrated and unhappy. Yeah, I'm talking about you. I know this is out of the blue, but I bet you're into beautiful women, aren't you? All of you know that I sell top-notch dolls of only the prettiest girls. Maybe you've heard of them. They're called Super Ultra True to Puppets. Oh! If you want, I can let you have one for cheap. Go ahead, check this one out for yourself. Okay, that's creepy. Granted, this one's an ugly one that was made in his experiments and it hasn't sold well, but you understand how my, real my dolls look now, right? That's not nice. She's not ugly. Well, if you're interested in having one of these for yourself now, I've got something even better. It's a top secret service. Nobody can know. Let me ask you, how are you doing health-wise? Eh, could be better. Great to hear, really. If you weren't 100% perfect, you'd probably still be fine. I bet you're bored with your day-to-day -day life is going. Wouldn't you just wouldn't you love to just throw it all away and spend it with the girl of your dreams? Doesn't that just sound fantastic? Because with the perfect girl project I can offer you exactly that. Are you gonna end up being like a puppet mon? With the perfect girl project, you can have your ideal girl recreated and sent straight to your living to your room as a living, breathing human being. There's just one condition you have to abide by if you use this service. Just one condition you can be free from the tedium you've lived up with up until now. I bet you're wondering just what that condition is. I understand that's a fair question to ask. Tell you what, I'll let you in on that condition free of charge. The one condition is that once your dream girl has been sent to your room, you can never leave it for the rest of your life. Simple, right? Oh, you don't have to worry about survival. The girls take care of you that for you, so what do you think? Not a bad deal, right? That's okay, take all the time you need to think. Once you know you want one, just get in touch and I'll make it happen. Okay. Is this the machine? How's your investigation into the LDC machine coming along? As you're just about to get started on it. Hmm, you encountered a suspicious man out by the LDC machine? That's good timing because I'm detecting a faint digital noise signature close to where you're standing. Yeah, I saw it. You better take a close look at that arcade machine. I bet you'll find some clues about how these super ultra true puppets are being made. 
As usual, this case is starting to take some weird turns, so be ready for anything in there. Wow. Looks like a connect jump. Yeah. Don't be a network thingy. Ooh. Oh, look at Cherubimon in his give me a hug pose. Or I guess they goofed up with the translation. He's Kirpimon in this one. Oh wait, I've been here before? I have been here before? Weird. Wow. Two uh, Bodemon did not give me shit. Where am I going here? Ooh. Intelligence boosts. I don't know. I think Black Kirby Mon looks better. It looks cooler. Oh, this is a Digi Lab. Let me save. Oh, an Inframon. Well, I haven't finished exploring this dungeon yet. HP capsules. Hmm. Have I been here? I, there's like parts of this I have not been to. What was off to the... I somehow went the right way to begin with. Let's see, so the exit's there. Oh, there's an item right there that I missed. And this probably just goes to that lone treasure chest, right? Yeah, okay. I'm not even gonna bother. These guys aren't worth it. Inframon I want to fight. Maybe I don't fight him. I feel bad. I'm using a Diaboromon on an Inframon. Okay, it was a shortcut I saw. was over here. Alright, so I guess I'll fight him in the next episode. So thanks for joining me. Get back on the next stuff up real soon, but until then, bye!